you guys look at that is mm, ah, mm, just can't get enough something to bolt a clean wheel and the tires to match and it looks like wet but it's it's not it looks like that you know when you put that armor all on for your old school guys but it's permanent like when you touch it there's not it's, not, it's oh the stuff that i've been using is this stuff guys turf shine permanent tire clear coat and it, it works it works look at this mm -mm. i live by that guys oh, that stuff i swear it works welcome back to the vlog you guys we're just getting ready for the beginning of the season that's why the wheels are off getting all re clear coated and um no not clear coated ceramic coated it looks amazing this vlog i was i was going to unveil the new project car or the new shop car you guys which is the honda civic ctr civic type r honda fl5 but unfortunately i don't have it it's somewhere in the middle of the ocean in between japan and uh, canada it's supposed to be arrived like at the end of, the, end of may beginning of april and now it's been pushed back. And the pushback was, there's a recall, there's a stop sale. Even if it landed, I can't take the car physically. Well, I can't, I can take the car, but legally I can't drive it on the road because until the recall is done, that stop sale or recall that they put, there's something wrong with the seat because they revamped the seats and the seats are sick, but there's a problem with the welding or something like that. It's, I don't know, I'll post it up. There's a bulletin or service bulletin that it's supposed to be completed before the car can be delivered to the owners or the previous, or the owners that are already driven have to be brought, the cars have to be brought back in. So uh, that kind of ruined a lot of my plans. I am in the race booth this year, guys, at Driven, which is, Huge for me, huge for me. And we were gonna do a big unveil of the FL5 there with my FL5 and have a whole bunch of stuff put on it. And of course, some sick Volk wheels. Of course, we're in the raised booth, you guys. And uh, we're gonna be joining a couple of friends of mine, Peter Liu with the real wheel deal and Mr. Jack Altramotive. He will be in attendance, you guys. So this is an official announcement that we will be at Calgary Driven. So stop by and see me there, you guys, if you wanna hang out. Without no FL5, we have to take good old GTR. She's dirty, you guys. It's been sitting for a few months to the point where my friends are writing all this stuff all over it, dirty bitch. It's protective with paint protection film 
and that's why I'm not too concerned about it. But it's not very nice to write stuff like that on a black car. You'd have to polish it out. Kind of want to give you guys an update. Just gonna move this out of the way. Uh, fire extinguisher is in, and it's looking, looking fantastic. We're thinking of doing some new livery, so the cherry blossoms are gonna go away. We're gonna put some new livery on it. Don't know what yet. I have one in one thing in mind. I have one thing in mind. I just don't know what yet, or if we can pull it off in time. So, um, it's a little easier said than done. Um, there's a lot of like artwork that has to be done in it. So some of the liveries, yeah, it's easier said than done. Harnesses are in. You will need one of these. You can get them on Amazon and stuff, but I went to my local scrapyard for $1. Of course, Red Eye Nissan. And goes right into there. So now I won't have that annoying. Um, so even if like that annoying uh, seatbelt sign, so we'll, we'll be gone by the time I uh, drive. Because if you're gonna drive these, you'll need one of those. And I forgot to mention that in your uh, in my last vlog. So just remember that you have to get one of those. Like I said, be lazy and get them on Amazon. Uh, they're quite expensive or go to a scrapyard, $1 or free because you just cut it and put it in your pocket and walk out. But I didn't tell you that. Look at that guys, check out my new Vogue shirt. This is, it's sweet. You got here Vogue racing, Rays, and then down here it says Rays. And in the back, hopefully you guys can, yeah, let's turn around, hopefully you guys can see that. It's sick. I like it. It comes in white. I think personally, I think this is the best white, white on blue. And we also have good old black. I got a hoodie and all courtesy of Mr. Envision himself, which is so nice to hook me up with all that stuff. Mm. You gotta represent properly, right? Yeah. Look at that, you guys. Damn. If you guys want some, you can get them online. I'll leave the link on to uh, Gerald's uh, website, you can get it down there, you guys. Folk Racing, they are really nice. Yeah, yeah, go get some. All right, for you boys and girls that are wondering why I chose the Civic Type R uh, over the GR Corolla. So simply to answer that question is basically, it comes down to su support mods. The Civic Type R has been around for a lot longer. The GR badge has just been around for several years and I just don't see enough support mods yet. There's just so much heritage on the Civic Type R and that's the reason why I went with Honda. Honda has so much support, a lot of parts already out for it because it just carries over from the FK8. There's not much differences. That way, that's the reason why prices wise for the parts are not going to be as significantly high because of R&D. I think there's going to be a lot of wait time for the Corolla and I just can't afford to be sitting here and waiting for parts. The Honda parts are way more affordable compared to like this guy here. That one, coming from that world, it's a huge difference in price, you guys. And that's the reason why I'm going with the Honda Civic. On top of that, I just love the look of the Civic because it's everything's integrated in, it's molded in, it's meant for the Civic. When I had the Corolla here a couple times, I just did not like how they just made the rear bumper and then the rear hindquarters is like basically slapped on, it's not molded in. And I just, I just didn't like the fit and finish of it. And that's the reason why I went with the Civic, guys. I think it will go a lot further and the Honda community is massive. And I've always been a Honda fan. So that's the reason why I went with the Civic Type R, you guys. All right, so thanks for sticking around to the end of the vlog. For you all that stuck to the end, I have a gift for you. First person that comes to the uh, Ray's booth at the Edmonton, uh, at the Calgary Driven Show will get a free gift. Uh, what it is, I'm not gonna tell you until the, that day. So come up and say, Full throttle. First person that says full throttle, the idea is courtesy of uh, TJ Hunt. That's where I got the idea from you guys. So first person that comes up and says full throttle, I will have a pretty sick gift for you or a prize. So come up and say hi, say full throttle, and it's all yours. So that's pretty much I'm going to end off the vlog. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Don't worry, your body feels so tired.